who claimed that they weren't consulted before being forced to, to pay. And of course, uh, the system being switched off. It comes also after an official uh, push and initially a lot of civil society organizations behind this, mainly out uh, at the forefront. It was called the Opposition to Urban Tolling Alliance then uh, against ETOLs. To discuss, we're now joined by Wayne Duvenage from Arta. Wayne, thank you. Do you have um, mixed feelings about the, the fanfare we're going to see tonight? No, not mixed feelings. I think we're uh, very excited. Um, there have been many uh, false announcements or missed deadlines uh, by the authorities to turn the system off. But uh, the final push was to make sure that we got this gazette, which is now out, and uh, and the official turn off is tonight. So this has been uh, more than a decade in uh, in the work of Arta to to see this day finally arrive. Uh, it was really on its deathbed uh, since 2019 in March when they stopped pursuing the uh, uh, the debt through a summons process, which was their last uh, avenue of trying to force uh, citizens to pay. Uh, so quite frankly, the death blow was then. And we've been watching this uh, system die slowly ever since then. It was a decision they should have taken a long time ago, though. All right. Citizens still owe, though. No, they don't. Um, and we tell you this is why we don't. If you cannot enforce your laws and the public have defied a very unjust law, uh, which is all the reasons that we've been painting for many years being put out there to government. If you cannot enforce your unjust laws and the citizens stand against unjust laws as they are supposed to do and have done successfully in this case, it is not a debt that is outstanding by citizens anymore. Uh, they might as well write that off. In fact, they have officially written it off in their financial statements. 